Hey Rifters and soon to be Rifters, John here. Today we're going to be checking out Sledge Rift. This game is actually brought to my attention by the developer. And I'm really glad that he showed me it because it's a really fun game. Before we get started here, you're actually on a sled going down an obstacle course. You can actually buy four different four different themes for level one. Which I've already bought all of them but Clear Night. I saved that one for the video here just to show you guys that. You can also buy different sleds. Currently there is just two of them. And I have already bought both of them. The second one here does have a little small glitch which will get stuck underneath the level. The developer said that he will fix this in a future update. So we're just going to go ahead and use the default one. Now he does plan on making more levels, as you can see there's spots here for different levels. Now the first level, we're going to start with just the basic sunny day. This also has your high scores on the screen here. And the object of it is to actually collect the coins. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started and I'll talk about it a little bit more as we play. Now this is a controller free game, you actually move your head to rotate the sled. When you start the mission you need to be looking forward or your will your orientation will be off. If that happens you all you have to do is press R and it re will reset your orientation and the level. Now these levels are randomly generated and do go on forever. Blue coins give you two points each, and yellow coins give you one. The more coins you collect, the faster you actually start moving, which is really cool. Because at about a hundred coins, you start moving really freaking quick. And it becomes a real challenge. And since the levels are randomly generated, every time you play it is something different. Which is really cool. As you've seen, there is high scores, so it really gives you a, it really gives you a reason to actually keep playing it and trying to beat your high scores. Now, every coin you can you collect is counted, no matter if you restart the level or not. And the point of collecting coins, besides getting high scores, is so that you can buy the different themed levels and also new sleds. And I'm sure when he adds new levels, you'll probably have to buy the new levels too with coins, which is really cool. It really makes you want to try to get as many coins as possible. Oh. Now if you hit an, ob an obstacle like that, it will restart the level. Or if you hit the side, it'll also restart the level. Like I said, turning is real easy. It just uses your head movements. You don't need a controller or anything once you get into the actual game here. The sled is really nicely done. You can't really see it on on sunny day, but there is a little snow moving by the sled, which is a really nice touch. All right, so we're gonna check out some of the other themes real quick here. The one we just did was sunny day. And like I said, you do have to buy them. I, I can't remember, I think this one was 300 for blizzard day. Clear Night is 600 and Blizzard Night was 999 coins, which it's not that hard to get that many coins. I just got 200 in the last two playthroughs, so it's not that hard at all. The other sled was 300 coins, I believe. We're going to go ahead and buy Clear Night here. Also, all you have to do is look at the arrows or the buy and then left click to buy it. We're going to go ahead and buy it. As soon as you buy it, it unlocks it. And since I haven't played it yet, there is no high score. Blizzard Knight is by far the coolest theme so far. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. As you can see, I have a high score of 110. The first time I played this, I was like, oh crap, this is going to be extremely hard. Because it is very dark. And the little fog effect with the snow coming at your face is really cool. And you can also see the 
You can see the snow coming up from the side of the sled really well in this one. Oh crap. Now let's see if I can actually beat my high score. As you can see at the top there, it does count your coins for your high score, so it's not always on the screen, so it's not in the way as you're playing, which is really nice. Like I said, the rocks, the trees, and also the coins are randomly generated every time you play, so it's always something different. I think my current high score is 162 on Blizzard Day, I think it's called. After about 150, it gets extremely fast. I don't think you have to worry about VR sickness in this game because you're sitting still on a sled. So being able to go really quick is really fun. Even now, at just 60 something points, it's, it's pretty fast already. Oh, 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 crap. Damn it. Alright, one more time. The start of each level, it starts out a little bit slow. But that's probably because once you start getting coins, it speeds up a lot. So if you started out fast, I mean, it would, it would be extremely hard very quickly. Now, you, obviously, you can't get all the coins because they are next to each other. But you, you really want to try to get the blue ones because they are two coins each. Talking and playing makes this a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder to concentrate on objects coming at you. But this is definitely something that you're going to want to play and show your friends and try to beat your friends high scores and so on. To go back to the menu here, all you have to do is hit escape on the keyboard and it'll take you back. And as I said, uh, pressing R will reset the level and the orientation just in case you're not looking straight forward when you start the map. As you see now I have 430 coins but I have actually bought whoops I've actually bought all the levels here. Let me go ahead and check out Clear Night real quick since I have not played this one yet. Uh, this one's actually pretty cool too. Uh, it's like Blizzard Night minus the Blizzard, of course. So it makes it a little bit easier to play. I can see a little bit further ahead of me. One thing when you get up to about 150 coins, the objects start loading right in front of you because you're moving so quickly, which also adds a little bit of a challenge. But if a game didn't have a challenge, get, the game would not be fun, so it's very cool. Before I did this video, I, I sat here and played it for a good, at least 30 minutes. Just trying to beat my high scores and collect coins and try to unlock some of this stuff here. Alright, so apparently I can't play very well when recording myself or talking. I guess the Hawthorne effect is taking place here, or com more commonly known as the Observer effect. But anyway guys, you get the point. This is really fun. Oh, I actually beat my high score earlier. I didn't even realize it. So if you guys do download this, which I do recommend it, go ahead and post your high scores below. I would be really interested what other people can actually get up to. Mine currently is 167 on Blizzard Day. One little quick thing I did think was cool is when you walk up to the snowman here and bump into him, they actually fall apart. It's really cool. And also, when you run into the snowman, you can actually kind of push the oh, push the ball in front of you and try to keep it in front of you, which I thought was really cool. All right, guys, so that was Sledge Rift. 
I definitely recommend this to anybody that does have a Rift or anybody that plans on getting a Rift. Put it on a list of games to check out when you do get it. The developer does plan on adding more levels in the future. Probably won't be too long from now. He, he seems like a very active developer and has a lot of neat ideas for future updates. He actually plans on doing new artwork for the game, which it's not bad right now, but having new artwork would be really cool. And also new sleds. I think he plans on doing uh, funny type sleds and just regular sleds. The sleds don't actually do anything different currently. They're just more for a cosmetic thing, which is still really cool to be able to actually buy different sleds. and It just gives the game that little extra something to make you want to play it more. This game was actually created in I think like 17 hours, he said, for a game jam for Kingston University. And he went ahead and took it further than that, and he's working on it now to, to get it to a full game, which is really cool. It's really cool to see developers making content for the Rift. As you can see from the background here, this is Blizzard Night. It's by far my favorite level because it's so hard to see everything and the particle effects, the snow flying at your face is really cool in the rift. It really gives you that sense of 3D. And once getting at really fast speeds, over 100 coins, it becomes a really big challenge. It really makes you want to beat your high scores. It's always great when games have a good replay value and this one does because it has randomly generated levels. And the levels are actually infinite, so no matter how good you are, you can always be better. This game is actually really fun, and it's something that you could show your friends if you do have a Rift. Just to get them used to playing the Rift a little bit, since you don't need a keyboard and mouse except for in the menu. All you need is your head to move around. And that helps a lot for new people to computer games or just games in general. Or friends and family, you know, that don't normally play games. So you can get them into the Rift and checking it out. As always, guys, I will post links for this below. I'll also be posting his Twitter account below so that you can keep up to date with updates. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, please post them below. Also, post your high scores below. I'd be really interested in, in seeing how high of a score you guys can get. And also give me something to try to beat. If you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas.